Hi and welcome to the Supreme Court where we have Western Buckeye League girls basketball between Ottawa Glendorf and Bath. Gargantuan matchup, a couple of teams that are 4-0 in the conference atop the league. And this seems to be one that will tip the scales traditionally, and that is the case once again here in 2024. Hi everybody, Garrett Bansfield alongside Darn Evergold bringing you the action here tonight. We'll get you the starters here in just a moment, but Darn, your opening thoughts of this big contest here tonight. Well, it's gonna be huge, and I mean, you're looking at an Ottawa Glenn team ranked number three in the state, coming in at 13 and one, four and oh in the league. Bath nine and three, four and oh in the league as well. But Bath can start out as six and oh this season before uh, dropping a couple games, you know, in mid-season and then losing the game before last as well to Ottaville. But, you know, it's gonna be a huge matchup here, Garrett. Katie Kaufman and Claire Faust at the center circle. The, the tap is won by the Lady Titans and they'll start the game with the basketball here on the near end. Here's their starter, sophomore guard, Carson Erford. You have the senior post, Katie Kaufman. Micah Aldrich is a senior. Caitlin Kimmett is a junior wing. And then junior guard Carly Brinkman, the five, out there for the Lady Titans. Here is a little runner for Erford off target and brought down by Faust. The remainder of the Bath Wild Kitten lineup, junior guard Faith Clark, and a sophomore forward Kelsey Carlson, sophomore guard Izzy McDermott, and Ann Oliver, a senior forward for Bath. a tie up. The arrow belongs to Bath. Some of the top players to look for tonight. Oliver on the Bath side, 12 points a game. Faust averaging a double-double at 13 plus and nearly 12 rebounds a contest. As Bath holds on to the basketball on the inbound pass on the OG side. You have Katie Kaufman leading the way with over 12 points, or make that 12 points a contest. And Carson Erford just ahead of her at 13 points a game for OG, a team that scores 51 points, a contest, giving up just 33 in the defensive side. Dar is always gonna be one of the equalizers when you get into a game like this. Well, it certainly will be, and Bath is the same way. They're only giving up 34 points a game, but a lot of their offense runs through Faith Clark, number two out there for Bath. You know, 26 assists this year. You know, she kind of runs the offense. You know, the scoring comes from, you know, Claire Faust at 13.4 points a game, like you said. You know, the interesting fact is, too, if you look at the uh, free throws, a lot of the free throws go through Clay, Claire Faust as well. Another miss for Ottawa Glandorf. Throw for two from the floor and two rebounds for Bath. Open look for three from McDermott, and she hits from outside. She's the top three-point option for Bath, and she's able to knock the, down the first points of the contest, and at least famous recipe chicken scoreboard has first blood up there tonight. Yeah, McDermott, 18 for 48 coming into this game, 38% from three-point range, which is outstanding for that young lady. You know, and you know she's not afraid to put it up. Her and uh, Kelsey uh, Carlson, you know, she's put up 46 threes. So Bath will shoot the three-pointer. They're hitting about 32% of their threes. Skip pass from uh, Michael Aldrich looking for Carly Brinkman through the fingertips and out of bounds. So two missed shots and a turnover for Ottawa Glandorf, still looking for their first score of the contest. Again, number three ranked team in the state of Ohio in Division Three. that's according to the AP. Well, you can see the nerve and the, how valuable this game is for both these two teams and the nervous, you know, that's out there between them. You know, Ottawa Glandorf, not a typical start for them. And, you know, two misses, you know, and a turnover. Well, what's the weight of this contest historically? Well. Doesn't take a whole lot of research to figure that out as Katie Kaufman gets a nice feed and scores off the window. Historically, 14 Western Buckeye League titles for Ottawa Glandorf, 18 for the Bath Wild Kittens. That adds up to 32, Dark. Yeah, that pretty much takes care of it, doesn't it? You look at the last handful of years, the last 13 have been won or shared, or at least a share or outright title by one of these two teams. So as, far, as long as any player on the floor right now has been in school, as a score goes inside for Bath. And we have a loose ball will stay. So as, just to put that into context, for as long as the seniors and on down have been a, a, are like in school and kindergarten on through up, Bath and OG have been a champion of the WBL every single year and then some. 
And that goes back to coaching, too. I mean, you're looking at two coaches out there, Greg Mock, a longtime coach for Bath, Wild Kittens, and Troy Yant for the out of Glendorf Titans, you know, that really fundamental basketball, and that's what these two teams play. You know, you look at, you know, they're giving up 34 points and 33 points a contest. You know, just fundamental defense, fundamental basketball, you know, just working the ball, you know, taking advantage of the strengths that they have. We saw Katie Kaufman just kind of limp off the court there. Hope it's nothing serious. Send to her, Kaufman. A first team in the Western Buckeye League a year ago. And a made triple for Brinkman on the outside for OG. Yeah, Brinkman only hitting about 14% of the three-pointers, but that one looked really sweet from outside there. Ties the game at five apiece. Here's Faith Clark controlling the offense for Bath. Trying to get away from the defense of Megan Hortzman. And it's not a fun assignment there as the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Lady Titans. It'll stay with Bath from half court. Here you see Coach Jan jumping up there thinking a five second violation, but they didn't call it on. There's a steal out of the inbound and then stolen back by Bath. So the good play for Carly Brinkman didn't come to fruition. Bats able to battle right back. Still tied at five on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. Pass to the top and middle for Claire Faust. You know, halfway through this first period, and it's just 5-5 score, which is the two defenses going at it each other. And a brilliant cut to the lane for Kelsey Carlson. She scores about seven to come to us. There's her first. Half remains with the upper hand. That's three different player, Bath players now in the scoring column. Olivia Grothaus had that previous catch in the corner, finds Kimmett, bounce back to Grothaus and reversed around. All conference performers from a year ago back for both ends. And Oliver Claire Faust, third team and honorable mention for Bath a year ago. Bob McLandorf had all conference honorees at all three levels, at Kaufman, Erford. Uh, Caitlin Grothaus, who is injured right now, not on the floor. And then uh, Caitlin Kimmett, honorable mention. So you had four. And then yet to boot, you have Michael Aldrich, one of the top soccer prospects around the Western Buckeye League. She was the WBL Soccer Player of the Year. This pass to fall, open look for three from AZ McDermott. Goes off fire, but an offensive rebound put back for Claire Faust is not gonna fall down. And Kimmett grabs the second chance board. Now OG with three unofficial turnovers so far in this game, which is really unusual, but they average about 14 turnovers a game. Contested rebound will go to Ottawa Glandorf. Good hustle from Gwyn Faust. The Pursuing the Four, long Parker, rebound. Long Savannah Racker checking in, along with Erford back for Ottawa Glandorf. Yeah, you see the Ottawa Glandorf uh, offense kind of switching away from what they usually do, which is go to the middle a lot with Katie Kaufman sitting on the bench. Right now they've shot a couple of shots from the outside instead. Here's a Brinkman drive, bounce pass inside for Carson Erford, and she's got her first deuce of the game. Nice, you know, bounce pass on the inside there for OG. Open look for Izzy McDermott, three off target. Olivia Grothaus with the board. Here comes Ottawa Glandor. Oh, nice move on the inside there. Wrecker from the baseline, lost ball, and it's gonna be picked up by Bath. And we are going to get a timeout by the Wild Kittens. We'll take it as well. We'll step aside. 7-7 seven, seven time. 2.24 left in the first quarter. Here from Ottawa Glandor. If you're watching WOSN. These famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wampak, Delvis, and St. Mary's. Call these for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken home style happens here. Inbound pass on a tie game. Out of Glendorf with the ball. Bounce pass in the direction of Erford. That's going to lead to an out of a Glendorf foul. 
And we have the first whistle of the game. So Erford picks up her first team first. But pretty clean quarter. Dyer to get almost six minutes through without the first whistle. Turnover has been the biggest thing right now for OG. They just can't get any rhythm going, you know, even though the game score is still 7 7 at this point. You know, there's no real flow for the offense for OG. You know, Bath doing a much better job as far as getting their half court offense going. But OG's got to tighten things up a little bit. I'm sure some of that is going to be due to their senior standout post. Hey, Katie Kaufman oh, spent nice much move. of the quarter on the bench, but here Claire Faust in her own right doing some nifty work alongside the baseline and near the basket. Bath back up by two. Quick answer for Erford off the back of the rim and snagged out of the air by Kelsey Carlson. Bath will draw it up the floor. Hey, that last rebound for Anna Oliver, correction. Then Faust with the catch in the corner. Couple of dribbles cut off, trying to look into space and throws it into a vacated spot from Izzy McDermott. It's a steal for Ottawa Glandorf and an easy nice dump ball. off and score to Michael Aldrich. So it's, it's coming down to everything that so far in this first quarter that we broadcast it would be. Two great teams yep. out there matching up. Tie game in the final minute of the first quarter. Here is Faust and a handoff. Give it to McDermott, finds Faith Clark, she'll drive. And on the kickoff, it goes off the hands of Aldrich out of bounds. Clark, a all-conference soccer player. Faust was first, first team in volleyball this year. And Vodovic Landorf on the uh, Kimmett and Coffin back of the game for OG among the changes. A little bit of a line change for both yep. coaches out there. Here's Marley Mason new into the game for Bath with the ball in the last 30 seconds. Here's Faust from out high. Trying to direct some traffic. From the lane. Down to Faust, and Kaufman swats that one out of the air. That'll set up Bath from underneath their own basket with 8.8 to shoot. A good idea by the Wild Kittens just to get the ball on the inside, try to get that last basket on, off of that, but uh, Katie Kaufman says, no way, this is my territory right now. Here's the inbound lob, tipped away and stolen by Ottawa Glandorf. Transition, bucket. Falls on in. It's Megan Hortzman with the score. And the Wildcat, or make that the Lady Titans take their first lead of the basketball game in the final moments of the first quarter. We'll take a timeout in return for quarter two. It's next on WOSN. Free throw sponsor tonight is Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora, paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. Call 419-384-3392. Didn't have an attempt from the line in that first quarter. Lady Titans start the second with the basketball. Here's Kimmett, a lob inside for Coffin. Turn around, around the oh, defense right of Claire Faust, and scores it. Ottawa Glandorf goes two for one around the quarter break. Now they're up by four. Biggest lead in the game by either side. Nine players in that first quarter in the scoring column between the two teams. And here's Faust backing her way down. Cut off, finds an open teammate in the corner. Three-pointer try. Kelsey Carlson can't get that one to fall. And it's going to go out of bounds. It'll stay with Bather. Officials tonight, B.J. McFerrin, Carl Nunez, and Mitch Owen, the trio, calling the action down on the floor. And entry pass, there's the whistle from B.J. And, and it gets Coppin for her first. That's just the second foul called in the game in the first of the second quarter. 
I'll tell you what, Gary, we're going to see a battle all night long yep. down low between the two six foot one players and Faust and Kaufman down there. Kaufman had or made a Faust with position. Turn around and it's another Kaufman block. And we're out of bounds off of the Lady Titans, but it'll stay with Bab. Faust has got that turnaround to the left side, and I think Kaufman's figured that out, that she knows which direction she's going. Faust's going to have to switch that around. And the inbound for Bath goes to the top. And Carlson just holds, guarded by Carson Erford. And down the lane, missed. Carlson got the position, just couldn't get it over top of the rim. Here comes out of Glandorf in transition. The dump off tipped away. And they'll regroup. Kimmett, open look, three straight away, off iron. Kaufman fighting for the rebound. Those long arms able to collect it. And out of Glandorf resets. 13 and 1, Ottawa Glandorf as the Erford runner off the mark. 9 and 3 bath. A couple of 4 0 teams in the conference. It's going to be a foul against Bath. It's going to be called against Faith Clark, her first. An offensive rebound is going to be huge in this game. And so far, Ottawa Glandorf's done a better job, I think, underneath getting the second opportunity shots. Bath's going to have to do a better job of boxing out to keep the Kaufman girls and the other players of OG out of that you know, middle the way they have. Here's the inbound to Erford, catch and shoot. Rims out, Coppin get, got there to the offensive rebound, but could not secure that. And it said Faust will push it up the floor, along with Oliver. Oliver, nice handles and goes down the lane and picks up contact against Kimmett. That'll be Second on Ottawa Glendorf in the in the quarter, first on Kimmett. Three, Actually, they're going to put Olivia Grohaus on the foul. So, yeah, and Oliver, you know, 16 right, or 20 for 28 at free throw line, 71 percent coming into this game. Okay, from the Northwest Ohio recycling free throw line, first is up and good. Swapping the bath lineup, Izzy McDermott checks in, and Marley Mason heads to the the bench and a rebound for Kaufman and loses her balance and tiptoes along the baseline, giving it back to back. I'll tell you, Gary, you look at Ann Oliver, you know, averaging 12 points a game, 71% from the free throw line, 38 steals and 48 assists so far this season. Does an awful lot for the Wildcats. A steal for Kaufman, can't convert. An offensive board for Megan Hortzman. Ottawa Glandorf nearly threw it away, but Grothaus able to hustle through there and keep the possession going. We got a whistle that'll go Bath's way. It's going to be a held ball. An entry back for Ottawa Glandorf, Aldrich and Brinkman back to the game. Nice job by the Wildcats on defense right there because Kaufman, as soon as she got it, took a step towards the basket and two Bath Wildcats just converged on her. Three-point game with Ottawa Glandorf holding the upper hand. And here's Michael Aldridge, steps right up on the defensive end. Faith Clark has to redirect, but it breaks timeline. And now will set up for Bath over on the wing. Sling a pass to Carlson. She goes to bounce it down below, and it's kicked away by Aldridge. Bath led for most of that entire first quarter, a late bucket. For Ottawa Glandorf, and then a quick score out of the quarter break. Bath trying to reset here in the five and a half to go before half. Clark with a loose ball, picked it up. Shovels a pass to McDermott. There you see the defense for the OG Titans. You know, they went to kind of a full court defense on this possession. Now their hands are everywhere out there. So. Bath's got to be really careful when it comes to their passing. Oliver down the lane, the kick out, and the three goes for Izzy McDermott, her second tray of the night. And we're all locked up again, 13-13. And she's deadly from that left corner. you got to get out there on her. And Kaufman trying to split the defense. Picked up by Aldrich off the miss. She can't convert. And Faust picks up the rebound. Ottawa Glandorf not giving an inch after the change of possession. Down the lane, a miss. McDermott there to clean up the miss from Carlson. 
And the Lady Wildcats with a nice 5-0 spurt to take the lead once and more. Izzy McDermott now with five points, or eight points, excuse me. Bounce pass to the post for Aldrich. Kick for Grothaus, corner three, off the front of the rim. Loose ball still being decided, and we're gonna get it out of the green to a foul with Carlson trying to cover off the rebound. And that will be the... Yeah, they're gonna put it on... Carly Brinkman, the foul. Third foul against Ottawa Glenn. We're changing the lineup for both sides. See Savannah Wrecker. Both coaches putting in multiple players in each time they change players. Trying to keep fresh legs out there throughout this game. And yeah, look at that move to take Carly Brinkman down, but it's going to help out Ottawa Glendorf on the steal. Pushed ahead, and Brinkman gets the score. So while she got shook from her shoes, she was able to get the ball back for Ottawa Glendorf for the score. Yeah, that left her wide open down there. You know, nobody on her at all to make that basket. That's the team defense coming into the equation. And here Bath trying to inbound from heavy pressure. 15 all, halfway through the second quarter and Michael Aldrich gets a little too close defensively trying to pull that ball away from Claire Faust. It's a good idea by OG on that one. You know, she was able to double team up on the ball carrier and then she was able to try to take the ball away. But just like you said, Garrett, just a little bit too close. It's going to be an inbound from the sideline for Bath. This full court all, uh, defense for OG is really putting Bath in some serious situations. Gwen Faust got down there to keep the ball from getting too far away from Bath. OG knocked it out of bounds. It'll stay with the Wild Kittens along the baseline. And a bounce for Ann Oliver. And look at that move along the baseline, but quickly oh, nice Kimmett shot. covered it up, and Oliver scores it. Bath back on top by two. Nice pass from Kimmett to Erford, and she scores left of the rack. That's her second basket of the night. Right now, five from Carly Brinkman, the top total for Ottawa Glandorf and Aldrich gets a little too tight. And he'll shoulder to shoulder with Ann Oliver. Titan foul number 24, Aldrich, her second. You look up and down this Ottawa Glandorf roster and you see a lot of experience. You have two seniors playing a lot of minutes. Handful of juniors getting action, a couple of sophomores. And as Oliver releases and hits the first free throw for the Northwest Ohio Recycling free throw line. Oliver and Faust, the two seniors in the post for Bath, that's more the exception than the rule. You have a junior point guard, but everybody else, sophomores and freshmen getting a lot of time for Bath as Oliver nails both Northwest Ohio Recycling free throws. Yeah, a lot of freshmen on this uh, Bath while getting roster, if you look down through it, you know, a couple sophomores thrown in, like you said, Garrett, but a lot of freshmen. Good look inside for Erfurt, who was all conference a year ago as a freshman for Ottawa Glandorf. Bath with the miss. And Faith Clark trying to get through some traffic. Savannah Recker, sophomore, applying the defense there for Ottawa Glandorf. Loose ball. Glenn Fast lost it. And the ball squirts out into the Ottawa Glandorf bench. Looks like it's going to stay with the Wild Kittens. Defense is the name of the game right now, Garrett. I'll tell you yep. what, both these teams, you know, long arms getting their quick, you know, hands in there, just knocking the ball away. Nothing's safe when you get a hold of that basketball, that's for sure. Clark comes to get the ball from Faust to Reesnard. Catch on the wing for foul. She turns and faces, guarded by Kaufman. Climbs the arc for a couple of dribbles. And nobody open. Ottawa Glandor's defense just suffocating every passing lane. 
Yeah, Megan Horseman out there doing a nice job on Faith Clark right now. Just dogging her everywhere. And she's the one that really runs this bath offense from out front. Here's the bounce. Gwen Faust inside. And a turn and shoot from Claire Faust. Disrupted from the Lady Titans. Erford from the baseline got the English. And she's up to six on the game, and it's 19 all. Just over a minute and a half to play before halftime. Ottawa awesome. Glandorf with multiple 21 seasons stacked up. Bath has done so twice in the last three seasons, including a 19 win year, the other exception. Long three from Clark won't go. And a long pass ahead for Hortzman, and she catches in time to get the shot off. Miss Kaufman on the follow up. Erford now catches from the elbow and knocks it down. Titans with the lead. That is what your size and hustle can do to keep possessions going. We only hit a lot of defense right there. That's that's a hustle play on the offensive boards, Dar. That can really swing a basketball game as well. Well, right now, OG's winning the offensive board right you know throughout this game so far. And that's one thing that's going to have to shut those guys out. Now we know we got Kaufman out there to deal with, but it's not just. Katie Kaufman on the inside is doing some damage to her OG. It's the other players, too, following up with her. You know, and, and you've got to shut down those, those second and third opportunities. Ottawa Glandorf sends Olivia Grothaus and Savannah Recker into the game. Herford from the top. Kaylin Kimmett catches, finds Recker, and wanted that pass and thought about it. Short hesitation, now Kaufman through two defenders, draws a foul. She'll head to the free throw line with Ottawa Glandorf holding a two point lead with 31 seconds to go before half. Katie Kaufman had 52% of her three throws. First one up for Kaufman, off back iron. She'll try again to make this a three-point game. And Kaufman misses the pair of the Northwest Ohio recycling free throw attempts. And it turns into an Ottawa Glandorf foul. That'll send us to the other end. Second foul on Katie Kaufman. Likely been a frustrating start to the basketball game for her. Come off the floor early. Due to uh, look like a little discomfort she was battling, and then it, it turned to action. A couple of fouls in the second quarter as Kelsey Carlson hits the first of two at Northwest Ohio recycling free throws. Yeah, I can tell you, it looks like they may have uh, wrapped up her uh, Kitty Coffin's right foot, uh, right ankle. Second free throw good, and we're tied again 21 21 on that Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. There's the drive. And Erford's shot won't fall. And she'll head to the line. Nice little opening there for Erford, though, to get that little floater off. I mean, it, I was surprised because I saw two bath Wildcats standing right there, but she's still able to get it off. First one's on the way and good for Carson Erford with a team high and a game high nine points right now. Erford, a 65% free throw shooter, and that knocked the first one down. As ne a, neither team's really been able to get any kind of momentum and advantage going here. Second free throw, no, and boarded by Bath, and Oliver secures that. And it's up to the two posts to try to bring it up the floor and nearly Whoa. threw it away. That was a dangerous pass. Ends up working out with seven seconds to go. Oliver trying to get to the hole. Oh she my. scores it off contact. It will get a free throw yet to boot. Looked like a broken play, but the Bath Wow Kittens have the lead and can add to it right here with another Northwest Ohio recycling free throw. Well, that's taking advantage of the entire backboard on that one right there. 
Nice misdirection in the post move. Free throw misses, but an offensive rebound and Claire Faust puts a shoulder down and Carson Erfer draws an offensive foul. And that should take us to halftime, and indeed it is. And your score on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard after two quarters of play, it is Bath 23, out of a claim to 22. We'll be back on WOSN after this. Welcome back to the second half. Third quarter action about to get underway. Here between Oblick Landorf and the, the Bath Wildkins. 23-22 lead for Bath as we switch ends. Caitlin Kimmett, Carly Brinkman, Micah Aldrich, Katie Kaufman, Carson Erford on the floor. As an open look for Aldrich. Offensive rebound for Kaufman for Oblick Landorf. Get to the Bath second half starters here in just a a second to that right now, Faith Clark, Claire Faust, Kelsey Carlson, Izzy McDermott, and Oliver Lee. Quintana on the court. Inside look for Kaufman. Long pass from Kimmett and good movement for Ottawa Glandor. As Aldrich goes down right side of the key, kicks for Kimmett, three-pointer on the way, and she hits from the left wing. In the second quarter in a row, Ottawa Glandorf has gone and hit the first bucket of the period. And that's uh, Kimmett's first basket of the night. You know, and that first half really, you know, both teams are pretty much even on everything as far as rebounds and, and turnovers and stuff. It was really won at the free throw line in that first half by the Wild Kittens. They were four for six from, from the free throw line, just one for four for Otto Glendorf. Otto Glendorf did most of the scoring from the inside, but they started out this half with a nice three-pointer from Kimmett. Gonna get a foul on Kimmett there for Ottawa Glandorf. That'll be her first team's first of the quarter. Bath will bring it up the length of the floor, but OG employing the full court press. And a game that's been marked by defense early on. So the other big thing in that first half for OG was basically offensive rebounds. They got a lot of second and third opportunities. They hit nine two-pointers in that first half. There's a steal and a score from Carly Brinkman. Four-point lead for the Lady Titans. Seven points now for Carly Brinkman here in this game. Second time in as many quarters. Ottawa Glendorf has led by four. And we got contact near half court. And the ball that's going to stay with Bath. Kicked the ball there from the top. Ottawa Glendorf going to send it. Megan Hortzman, the junior. I said OG hit you know 38 percent in that first half, and nine of those field goals came inside. So that's one thing Bath's going to have to do is shut down that middle. Nice, nice, nice flare play on the inbound. And the score for Kelsey Carlson. Great pass from Ann Oliver from the Bay or from the sideline. That's six points now for Casey, uh, Kelsey Carl Carlson. Mike Aldrich from the wing. Kaufman catch and shoot from the free throw line. And Oliver lets that sail out of bounds. And they're going to say last touched by Bath. It stays with OG. I don't know where that occurred, but. They must have saw something we did not. Here's Erford, and it's going to cost Bath two. 11 points now for Erford. He must have been on the shot itself, or he must have tipped the shot. Now that's got to be the only explanation. Here Carlson backing her way down. Here's the help defense from Portsman, and the ball thrown away. Another turnover for Bath. They're looking for their footing here early in the second half, and it's been Ottawa Glandwurf with the lead and trying to build it up. Kimmett for Aldrich here for OG. Carlson exits for Glenn Faust of Bath. And officially that's 10 turnovers now for the game for Bath. And this half, this full court defense for Otto Glendorf really giving them fits. Inside out, Kaufman for Hortzman. Three from the wing and Megan Hortzman 
Comes through with a big shot to put Ottawa Glandorf up by seven. Megan Horseman averaging just under two points a game. Now got five for this game. Tipped pass along the sideline. It'll stay with Bath. And so many times, Garrett, they, they overlook the, the role players that come in and do things for different teams. And this Otto Glenner team, Megan Horseman, is one of those. And she comes in off the bench. Like I said, she has five points now, just averaging under two points a game. Oliver trying to look for space, finds oh. an angle, and puts one off the window. That's what Bath needed right there. They needed a bucket in response to the mini run for Ottawa Glandorf. Low pass from Kaufman looking for Hortzman. Ball comes out, rolls towards Kimmin. Now Kaufman will drive, draws the foul. And I don't know how you can stop Katie Kaufman from doing that. I mean, you know, she, get, she drives in the basket, gets the angle, she knows she's gonna get fouled probably. Now she just has to hit some of those free throws. You know, she was, she had two, five opportunities in the first half, or two opportunities in the first half and missed them both. Mike Aldrich will be a growth house return for Ottawa Landorf. And Kelsey, Coffs, or Kelsey Carlson will return for Bath. So missing the first of the Northwest Ohio recycling free throws. And here comes Kaufman. Up and good. She's up to five. And the inbound goes for McDermott. McDermott with a couple of big threes for Bath early in the first half. Six point lead right now for Ottawa Glandwood. And there's a loose ball. And it's gonna go off Ottawa Glandwood in transition. Nice job by Broadhouse and Clark going after that ball. A lot of good hustle out there. Trying to both of them for one idea of who's going to save that basketball. And the inbound bounce for Beth. Faith Clark will guide the ball up the floor. And an out of control pass is stolen away. Here's Michael Aldrich. She'll take it herself. Oh, wow. And finishes with a smooth lay in. And an amp timeout taken by the Bath Wildcats. We will as well. 3.58 left to go. Third quarter, watching WOSN. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken is our scoreboard sponsor tonight. Locations in Lima, Walpunk, Delphus, and St. Mary's around the Lima Land area. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. I'll tell you, Gary, we've seen that backboard used effectively tonight by both teams. And I've seen some improbable shots hit off of all the areas of the backboard to drop in. They found a way to finish on both ends tonight. And a ball blocked and it will stay with Bath from the baseline. Wildkittens just looking for a score. Here's a McDermott three. Missed and Coffin snags there. Make that Kimmett snags the board. To Erford. And Kimmett gets the handoff on the wing. Bath desperately needs a stop on this secular procession by OG. Kimmett, loose ball. And a rebound, Caroms to Gwen Faust. Bath down by eight, the largest OG lead of the game, a 13 to four run, oh, and there's no. a clean steal for Aldrich, unstopped, to make it a 10 point game. 12th turnover for uh, Wild Kittens, turns into two points, another turnover. And now it's continuing to compound for OG. Up ahead, Olivia Grothaus, and it was doing the three-man weave drill. Didn't put the ball on the floor. Got one too many steps. It turns into a traveling violation. So it remains a 10-point game. And now seeing the defense being turned into offense here for Ottawa Glandor. They'll keep the pressure on. Baffle inbound. Have to go the length of the floor. The inbound pass finds Kelsey Carlson. 
Carlson dribbling in the backcourt. Guarded heavily by Erfurt. A bad for Clark. Hawkins did a nice job of breaking the press on that one. And we're going to get a foul away from the basket. But on ball by Savannah Rucker. OG cycles in Hortzman. And Brinkman again. Inbound pass for Bath finds Marley Mason along that sideline, guarded heavily by Carly Brinkman, and she goes down and is looking for a timeout. And Coach Mock going to take it from the bench. 2.32 left in this third period. We'll take the timeout also. Quarter action here from Ottawa Greendorf on WOSN. Two thirty-two of this third quarter, a ten-point Ottawa Glendorf lead. The run continues. So far, they've outscored Bath fifteen to four in this quarter, and they've done it a lot with defense and a couple of nice outside shots as well. Really have had a couple of early threes or one early three to get into rhythm. I was right at the half by Kaitlyn Kimmett. They approach the two-minute mark of the quarter. Here's Carson Erford, sophomore, down the lane, splits the uh -oh. defense and hey. got the roll. Erford would not be denied. 13-point night for the sophomore, right at her season average. And the lead is now a dozen here Again, at the Supreme Court. Another nice shot off the backboard. And what was going to be a steal by Erford will remain with that. And we've got a foul on the outside of, right outside the paint. There to get Megan Hortzman. First foul against Hortzman. Team's third foul and 90 seconds to go in the third quarter. Bath would like to see a couple more added by the Lady Titans as the double team comes. Clark gets the kick out. Three won't fall, and Kaufman skies up to get the rebound. Long pass ahead, well done, but unconverted by Megan Hortzman. Here comes Bath back the other way. Clark kicks for Faust, and she finishes, and that ends some of the drought for Bath. And some of the drought for uh, Faust as well. She only has two points, and that's her second basket. Four points now in this game. You know, coming in averaging over 13 points a game. They've done a nice job of shutting her down on the inside. Yeah, her total, she's a double-double machine, and there's a shot from the free-through line. That won't fall down for Ottawa Glandorf. Last touched by Bath. It'll stay with the Lady Titans. And this OG defense has really done a nice job on fouls. They've also kept Clark off the score. You know, she's only averaging about two points a game, but they've really kept her on the outside. You know, kept her from getting those assists that she normally gets in a game. Kick out for Kimmett. Three. Go. Kaylin Kimmett, couple of triples here in the third quarter. They start the third and will likely end the third with three pointers from Kaitlyn Kimmett. Her six points have been basically from the same side, that left wing, and there's another steal. This one by Carly Brinkman, little two on two in transition, and Brinkman finishes nicely. It's 44-29, a 15 point lead on the Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Home cooking for the Lady Titans here tonight. Inside of five seconds to go before the end of the quarter, and Oliver splits in defense and has a, a chance to score that one to trim the lead down just a touch but a monstrous third by the Lady Titans from Ottawa Glandor. They have 22 points in the first half. They score 22 in the third quarter and take a 44-31 lead to the fourth here on WOSN. Tonight's free throw sponsor is Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora, paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron. 
and scrap cars. Call them at 419-384-3392. Impressive quarter for Adelaide Glandorf. Trailing by one at halftime and emerged from the third quarter with a 13 point lead. They made a couple adjustments. One thing is they, they're starting to fire up from the outside where they were fortunate on the inside as much as they can. But big thing for them, you know, is their continued pressure defense. And really, they've just been outstanding as far as takeaways, that kind of thing. Unofficially, I've got Bath now with 15 turnovers for this game. But, you know, the OG defense has just been outstanding in that third quarter. You know, a couple of nice shots on the outside, too, and a couple of three pointers are really for Kemet that, you know, I don't think anybody expected. Don't have the totals with us right now, but there's a good chance double figures off of turnovers during that third quarter. Here's Faust, who has been really had a frustrating night, but she's able to tiptoe and find some angles. Get a score inside, makes an 11 point ball game to start the fourth. Yeah, Faust just with seven points and averaging about 13 points a game. So, like I said, they've done a nice job of keeping her out of the middle, not getting her anything that's not you know, just contested shots every time she touches the ball. And that's been huge for this OG defense. And Oliver leads the way with 13 for Bath. 13 is the top scoring effort for Carson Erford for Ottawa Glendorf. Early Brinkman with nine. Mike Aldridge has six. Kaufman with five. Six from Caitlin Kimmett. On the bat side again, Izzy McDermott with eight. Carlson and Faust with six each. Some of the highlight scorers on the night in a 44-33 game. OG playing a little half-court offense now. We tend to work the ball around, find that good shot. Nice pass in the paint inside out. Selfless offense. For oh. Ottawa Glandorf and Katie Kaufman pops the three. Back to a 14 point lead for Ottawa Glandorf. Now Kaufman says, I can go inside, but hey, leave me open on the outside, that's fine too. Long pass ahead to Kaufman. Wisely kicks over for Savannah Recker. And what was slightly out of control. Ottawa Glandorf able to get all four tires back on the ground and has this ride smoothed back out on this possession. And that was a nice job by Rucker too because she got the ball on the outside. Looked like she could have taken the three-pointer, but she decided, no, I'm going to pull up. I'm going to wait for my rest of my players to get underneath the basket. Down to Kaufman, squeaks her way past Faust and scores. Now Kaufman in double figures with 10. And nearly stolen once more. Faust ahead on the pass for Carlson. Faust with the rebound off the miss and gets fouled. Couple of Northwest Ohio recycling free throws on the way for Claire Faust. Claire Faust 40 for 65 coming into this game, 62% at the free throw line. Off iron, it'll stay a 16 point game. This is the largest lead of the contest as each and every score beyond this for Ottawa Glandorf will continue to tick that up. You can see the 65 free throw attempts for Faust, that's about half of Bath's free throw attempts for the season. Yeah. Second one is good. 49 34 is the Ottawa Glandorf lead. Right about at what their average is on the offensive and defensive side with nearly a quarter to go. 51 points per game. And they give up a little more than 33. There's the 51. Carson Erford now with 15. Again, five and some change left. The Lady Titans are 13 and one. 4-0 in the conference. Bath is nine and three. Right now unbeat in the league. Before this matchup, we get a foul with Faust heading back to the line and battle of two of the Blue Bloods in the Western Buckeye League in girls basketball. Yeah, OG's only lost to 13 and one, Fort Laramie. Well, Bath's got losses to uh, Marion Lopen, Brian, and Audeville coming into this contest. 
No gimmies on that schedule there. Really, the loss to Brian was a district championship rematch from a year ago. Lady Bears reached the state final four. I said OG content now to run a half court offense, eat up some time off the clock. Yep. 430. And there's a whistle there. You know, another looks at the OG side. I mean, just think of some of the, the programs that they've faced on their schedule and the variety that they have. And you go big and small. You have Collada, Crestview. And Patrick Henry and Toledo Christian, a couple of smaller schools around our area, but when you talk about pedigree and girls basketball, all four of those fit the mold. Fairview, very strong girls program. That is another Absolutely. one that is actually kind of a district warm-up per se for Ottawa Glandorf, the, the Division Three district down in Elida. Uh, about as tough oh, as they come, is. depending Absolutely. on, especially depending on who is in that at per, at, or per year. But it's been a been tough sledding the last couple of years. Of course, Ottawa Glendorf has been through it last couple of seasons. Got to the regional a year ago. There's a score for Bath. That's Oliver putting in another basket for the Wild Kittens. And we got a whistle on the other end, but of course we said Fort Loramie. Liberty Benson, and then the next one, Napoleon. Napoleon, another strong program, got to a, what was destined for a couple of state championships, but pandemic derailed the first of what could have been two, and then went back and finished business the next year. But you know, mention Ottawa Glenn or uh, Liberty Benton and Napoleon. You want to stir the pot a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. You know, I. I those two, those two schools. I'm not sure really the uh, the powers that be, but when you expand conferences, it's always easier to do it by two. And those are two on the northern end. I think Ottawa Glenwood would like that. Defiance would like that. Yes, they would. And the competition, the school size, the, the boys enrollment. I don't know if as as much as the girls enrollment at, at Napoleon, but hey, that that'd be a conversation. Tick this league up from from 10 to 12. Then you have to have all the fun with the football scheduling, but yeah, you know, yeah. but. Yeah, but Liberty Bend has been, you know, had been getting out of the BBC for some time now. So, you know, they, they pretty much dominate a lot of times in BBC. So it, they'll make it a little interesting for that conference as well. There's a miss for Oliver, but bring that up. A couple of teams on the Ottawa Glendorf schedule. Kind of trial runs, maybe, to see how that goes. But yeah, you get that light up, you know, tournament action. Yeah. Boy, that's, a, that's a outstanding girls basketball. We'll have all kinds of good games down at that district. Sometimes it feels like the district is, is the harder win than the regional in some years. We'll have a timeout on the floor. We'll take it as well. Watching it. High School Basketball, WBL style on WOSN. Mm -hmm. A little over three minutes to go in a 13-point contest. In favor of Ottawa Glandorf. Carson Erford from atop the arc. Shakes Faith Clark kicks out. Carly Brinkman thought about it and then releases. Offensive rebound, Michael Aldrich, but we're going to get a foul against Bath in the process. That's an Aldrich, uh, Aldrich line, 39% free throw shooter. First free throw for Aldrich is good. She's up to seven. And just two points in the first half. Coming back now. And five so far here in the second half. And 
the second one as good as the first from the Northwest Ohio Recycling free throw line. And you wonder how much this pressure defense for the OG Titans just wore back down as you saw them in the third quarter just get pretty much dominated by this defense for OG. And, you know, that takes a lot out of you. I don't care. You know, they had a 23-22 lead in the first half, but then the third quarter just fell apart on everything. And, you know, you can only keep it up so long if you're on offense trying to beat that pressure all the time. First one goes off the back of the rim from Gwen Fouts. You know, it talked about the, the districts and some of those teams that traditionally went through Elida actually shaken up this year. Looks like Tenora and Fairview as the second attempt for Gwen Faust. Normally feeds into that Elida district. They're heading north in the year that's coming up here. Carson Erford scores again, but Ottawa Glandorf, they'll hold in there with Wayne Trace. You have Jefferson, Bluffton, among Two the handful good of others. Programs as well. yep. Jefferson, Devils Jefferson's always a tough program. Three pointer on the way, misses for Bath. I know there's been some changes with some of the, the district assignments and Here's a long three, misses by Kimmett. Aldrich misses the putback. Pads are rebounding and scores it. And, you know, I think there's probably some consternation about some of the max prep stuff too. I'm trying to put seedings on it. And for good reason, right? Yeah. We can't, yeah. we don't have a, you know, we're all adding up to a, a more perfect system. You try a couple things here and there. And you don't, you can't always stay in the same district, right? Especially right. when well, well, for the majority of times, especially when you have such a big region to come. Yeah, and you don't know from year to year. I mean, yeah, you know, typical programs that, you know, are good year in and year out, it seems like, can have a down year as well, you know. So you don't know who, who you're going to have out there. But I'll tell you what, when you get into that, you know, like I said, you get into the Elida district and stuff, and you're just going to have some great yeah. basketball. I don't care what record you're going to bring into it. Both teams put everything on the line. I was thinking about this the other day because I think when we get in our our shoes and we look at this thing and Kimmett hits a couple of free throws and we'll check out. A handful of Lady Titans check in for the first time. Along with Madison McKee, Greta Liebrich. And a Maddie Liebrich. We get to we get to our age and we understand these things and we see the the paths and everything like that. The kids, it's not really on their radar. It's no, a game it's at not. a time. It's okay. Right. We got to win tonight to keep going, and that's the that's sometimes the perspective that the adults need to take. We get off our keyboards and you know just go to the games. You, you gotta you gotta beat it. If you want to win a state championship, you gotta beat everybody in your path anyways. That's right. And I think that's what all it the coaches and the players will say. And if you're the coaches, you know. It's, it, it's the same thing, you know, keeping the, the kids focused on the next game, not ahead. You know, that's a, that's a big thing. Yep. It's always been a big thing in sports, but, you know, particularly on this level here where, you know, you look at a, a team ahead of you, you think, ah, this shouldn't be any big deal, but it's it turns into a big deal. Right. It's not like, you know, think of it this way, too. It's not like there's any extra cash on the line either. No. For your school to win a certain, you know, if, if that was an incentive, to avoid a certain team on a certain rung in the tournament to get deeper, and there was some sort of other incentives, but there isn't. It's your right. season is over or it continues. There's a miss for OG, and Bath will come back in. But we look at the incentive for Ottawa Glandorf tonight, and that is going to be the pride and joy of being in the driver's seat in the WBL. And they are certainly there here tonight. Brittany what Goodman a, with a rebound. What a turnaround, too, for this team. Izzy McDermott with the three-pointer, a game that was extremely competitive for two quarters, but here in the second half, now it has been all OG. And that's the first basket for McDermott here in the second half. Had eight points in the first half, now has 11 for the game, but our first basket in the second half. Claire Faust with nine, McDermott now with 11, and Oliver with 13. That's been the big three tonight for Bath. Kelsey Carlson had eight on the 
and for Ottawa Glandorf, Carson Erford led the way with 17. Hortzman with five. Katie Kaufman had 10. 10 for Michael Aldrich as this one's going to get dribbled out. Carly Brinkman with 11. And Caitlin Kimmett with eight. That wraps up the scoring for the Bath or for the OG Lady Titans. And there's your final 61 46, a 15 point win by the OG Titans on the Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken scoreboard. A couple of final thoughts, Dart. Well, I'll tell you what, you know, I don't know what Troy Gant told his team at the halftime, but it sure was a turnaround. Now, we already saw the OG's pressure defense in there in the second quarter, but really they turned it on in the third quarter, and they got a couple of big threes to start off with from uh, Kimmon from the outside, which really kind of was a spark for them, a spark they really needed, because they were kind of a little, you know, fighting for, you know, for the lives, I think, in the first half. But boy, I'll tell you what, that third quarter, they just did, they did everything right. You know, they got the turnovers, they got baskets, they used the backboard on every shot, you know, effectively. They did everything they needed to do, and Bath just went cold as all get out there in that second half, you know. So there are going to be a lot of things Bath's going to be wanting to work on, I'm sure. But, you know, you've got to figure out a way to, to handle that kind of pressure defense because you're going to see it again yep. from other teams. Ottawa Glandorf takes a one-point deficit at halftime, turns it into a 15-point win thanks to a 22-point third quarter. As we get ready to close things up, thanks to our scoreboard sponsor tonight, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Northwest Ohio Recycling, for our three free throw sponsor tonight. From our crew, Jacob O'Neill, he's Darn Evergold. I'm here at Mansfield saying good night from out of Glendale. The Lady Titans defeat the Bank Wild Kings 61 46.